Posted in the back, diamond fangs in my grill. Brooklyn brim with my eyes sitting low. Never boy in here with me got that smile. I'm looking back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're just going to be starting off with the primer. Now for you busy moms out there or anyone really in general, primers are very important when you're doing your makeup. This just helps to make sure that your makeup sits the whole entire day so you don't have to keep on reapplying or fixing. The primer that we're going to be using today is the Nivea Men Pause Shave Balm. Now I know those of you who are hearing this are like, what the hell is that? But it's actually really good. I got this trick from Nikki Tutorials and a few other um, YouTube gurus. This is the balm. It's actually really good and I really like it. Now, before I used it, I was a bit worried about the smell, but I actually don't mind the smell, which is weird. Anyway, so this is what we're going to be applying on her base today. So today I'm going to be using just a normal brush, just that, and then I'm just going to be buffing it into her skin throughout. <laughs> so now we're going to be applying foundation the foundation that we're using today is the mac um, match master foundation it's just that one it's in the color 7.5 this foundation is really good it's got good coverage and it sits really well on your skin so we're going to be using the same brush that we use for our primer so we're going to quickly apply that all over her face So make sure you blend that in really nicely and you also just buff it in. That way it sits properly. So I've just buffed and blended all that foundation um, onto her face. It's also very important, especially because most people, your face, your neck is darker than your face and then your chest is probably the same shade as your face. So you always have to take, you don't have to put much foundation, but just use the same brush that you have and just blend a little bit of it on your neck. That way it just becomes the same color. Just going to be doing her eyebrows. I'm going to be using the Napoleon Eyebrow Liner. Um, I don't really know what it's called, but it's in Choco Chocoholic. So I'm just going to be going through. So I'm just following her natural brow line and just doing little feather movements. So for busy mums out there that want to have like really nice brows, make sure you always get your brows waxed. It just makes it a whole lot of it. A lot easier. Now we're just going to go in and clean up those eyebrows. It's absolutely important to make sure that when you do your eyebrows, you really clean them up. It's the only way that they look half decent all the time. So I'm going to be using um, a concealer from Stila. This is in the color Dip. The one that I'm going to be using is this one over here. So you want to use um, a concealer that's somewhat sim like a shade or two above what you normally, lighter than what you normally wear, because then you don't want to have white underneath your eyebrows. So we're going to be using this one here. And all you do is to just use a little bit of product. So when you're done with that, just blend it in as much as you can. That's a bit too much. But. So you just do the same thing for the other one. Just clean it up a little bit. Okay. 
So, as we mentioned in our intro, this video is specifically to you mums out there that have got kids and live a busy life that you really don't have 45 minutes to do contouring, to do lashes and to do all these extra things that us other people have time to do. So, what I'm going to be showing, so what we've done now, this is just basic, there's nothing much into it. This is a normal school run, everyday look, you can wear this pretty much to anything. If you don't like to wear too much stuff, you don't want to wear too much makeup, this is a really good simple makeup look. So now we're just going to be putting powder and I'm going to do a lipstick just to finish up the look. After that, I'm going to transform this look into something more out there but still very subtle. So stay tuned. So now I'm just applying some powder lightly. The powder that I'm using is just from MAC and it's the Studio Fix and it's in NW50. Just make sure you apply a little bit of powder as well to the neck just to set that foundation in. Now to add a bit more to this look we're going to be applying some blush and some bronzer. The bronzer that I'm using today is from NYX. Um, it's the Baked Blush Illuminator Plus Bronzer. So we just apply that on the highest part of your cheekbones. So just here. Just lightly tap that in. So this just helps to keep your makeup glowy and it's still natural, it's still easy and effortless, but it just looks like you put a bit more effort. So effort without effort. We're going to add a bit more blush to that. The blush that I'm using today is from NAS and it's called Seduction. So that would just add a bit more color. So now I'm just going to line her lips. We're going to do a nude lip. Um, a nude lip is very easy. It's nothing too dramatic. It's just subtle and simple, but you still look really good. I'm going to be using my really tiny, <laughs> clearly I like this. <laughs> um, it's from Napoleon and it's Peanut Noir. So I'm gonna be using this. This is like my favorite nude liner for um, African women. Well, dark skinned women. So I'm just gonna go in and line her lips. Now I'm going to go in with this um, nude lipstick. This is one of my favorite nudes. It's from, hold up. <laughs> it's from Maybelline, I think, from Kate, and it's number 112. That's probably gonna be wrong, but you can Google it. So I'm just gonna apply that. I'm just going to go over um, that lipstick with this nude lipstick from Essence. This is like $3.75, but it's honestly one of the best nude lipsticks I've found so far. And you can, if you're from Australia, you can buy this from Priceline, from Target, or any of those normal shops.
So guys, this is the final look. So this would be like your normal everyday look. It's not much of a hassle. There's not much into it. We didn't even do anything really to the lashes. We just did the eyebrows, lips, and your cheeks. This looks really pretty and it looks effortless. Now I'm pretty sure everyday woman can literally rock a look like this without having to spend an hour doing it. Um, what do you think? Would you wear something like this? Yeah. Are you, are you just saying that? Because. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's good, because a lot of the women that I meet, you always, yeah, yeah, and that's what we want. We want a look that you can do without having to put too much hustle into it, and this is a look like that. The nude lip is perfect. It's pretty, and you know, it's far from putting Vaseline, for those of you who know what Vaseline is. It's like Poco or whatever. You know, it's far from putting that and just chucking powder. It's still pretty. You still look like, you know, you've put effort, but it's not too much effort. Yeah. Good. So yeah, this is the end of this segment, but I am going to transform this look to now show you ladies out there how you could transform a simple look like this into something that you can wear out for dinner, Christmas parties, events, but still we're aiming for something simple. So we're not doing contouring, we're not doing lashes, we're just doing what an everyday woman would want to do to make herself look even more amazing than she already is. So stay tuned.